Namaste beautiful yogis. Today's class is going to be a vinyasa yoga, interval training, fusion flow, with a specific focus on lower body, legs and glutes. We're gonna strengthen, tone and stretch the lower body. Prepare yourself for a lot of jumping, a lot of sideline jumps. Prepare yourself to sweat. Let's come to the front edge of our mat. Step your feet a little wider than hip width apart and begin to reach side to side, side bends. Try to stretch both sides as you reach. And let's go for a few hip rolls. Drawing big circles with the hips, bringing mobility and openness in the hips, breathe, changing the direction of the circles and a few more side bends, hold, change, turning the palm of the hand down and keeping the shoulders relaxed and let's bring both hands up. Exhale, dive down all the way, bringing the hands to the floor. Inhale, look ahead of you. Hands on the floor and step into plank. Belly in. Active heels. Inner thighs are active. Lower yourself onto your belly. Cobra, elbows into the ribcage, shoulders back and down. Extending the tailbone down towards the heels. Exhale. The chest on the floor. Press yourself into plank. And press back in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Roll the right hip on top of the left. Bend the knee. Drop the heel behind you. You can draw a few circles here with your right leg. Again, bringing mobility into the hip area. And bring the heel behind you, opening the hip. Look between your hands and step your right foot between your hands. Drop the left knee on the floor and reach over your head. Low lunge. Left hand on the floor. Lift your back knee off the floor and lift your right arm up. Draw a circle with your right arm. Bring both hands on the inside of your foot and we're going to walk them to the back of the mat. Left knee forward, right knee on the floor, coming up into low lunge, reaching over the head. Exhale, right hand on the floor, lift the back knee of the floor, spin the left arm up, draw a circle with it, and bring both hands on the inside of your left foot. Step back into plank, and downward dog. And let's take the left leg up, bring the left hip on top of the right, bend the knee. You can draw circles here. You can explore the openness of your hip in any way you want to move right now. And let's step the foot between the hands, open the feet out, white stance and come up, plie squat. Let's bring the elbow over the knee and reach over your head, change sides side bends again, only we're holding a steady plie here, the legs are not moving, keep moving the upper body and again changing sides and the legs are really steady, the knees are pressing back, pay attention to your feet, pressing equally into the inner and outer edges of your feet here, hands over the heart, palms of the hands facing the heart, Opening the arms out, inhaling, 
bringing the hands over the heart. Hold your plie. If you can, sink a little deeper into your plie. Make sure your knees are pointing in the direction that your toes are pointed at. So align your toes and your knees. Inhale your hands over your head, clasp, reach over to one side. Keeping the arms straight and over to the opposite side. Elongating. And again, side bend, change sides. Back to center. Hands over the knees. And you're gonna twist your spine here, look over one shoulder, back to center, change sides, press into one hand and really twist here, back to center. Straighten the legs, side bend again with one arm reaching over the head, changing sides. Turn the palm of your hand down. Let's straighten the legs. Triangle pose. Right foot leading. Reach with your right hand in front of you and lower your hand somewhere on your shin bone. Lengthening both sides of the torso here. Opening the left hip, externally rotating the left hip. Pressing into the inner and outer, outer edges of your feet, lifting the kneecaps up. Release the hands on the floor, walk them to the back of the mat, left foot pointing out, right foot pointed in, triangle pose on the left side. And reach all the way over the head. Exhale both hands on the floor. And we're going to bend the right knee, straighten the left leg and reach with your hand over your head, switch sides, bending the left knee, straightening the right leg, flexing the foot, side lunge, press your knee back, change sides, side lunge, pressing the hips back, one more time, side lunge, explore your hips here, back to center, straighten the legs, hands in front of you and we're going to prepare for chair pose feet hip width apart, sit back hands on the hips bending one knee, straightening one leg to the side prepare for side lunge jumps this is a demonstration, we're going to do 50 let's begin Keep your knees back, hips back, back straight. If you can't keep your back straight, either don't touch the floor or you can modify by just jumping the feet side to side and standing up, meaning you're not bending forward. It's really important to keep your back straight and if you can't, just you're not going to be able to do this exercise. This is going to strengthen your lower back as well as glutes, quads, hamstrings, provided that you are keeping the right form. Great, once you're done with your 50 reps, you can do again side to side, side lunges, stretching the opposite leg keeping your knee back back straight great let's go into plank chaturanga upward facing dog chaturanga downward facing dog inhale right leg up step the right foot between your hands come up warrior two
opening the left hip here relax your shoulders reach way ahead of you side angle right hand on the inside of the right foot and extend the left arm up and over the head really spin the palm of your hand down pay attention to your pinky extend through your pinky opening the obliques on the left side let's bring the hands on the floor lower the knee on the floor keep your right knee over your right ankle great step into plank chaturanga upward dog chaturanga downward facing dog left leg comes up step the left foot between your hands warrior two sink deeper into your warrior relax your shoulders relax your hands make sure your left knee is pointing in the same direction the toes are pointed at directly forward opening the right hip lifting the kneecap on the right leg reach way ahead of you lengthen both sides of your torso lower the left hand by your left foot reach with your right hand up and over your head spinning the palm of your hand down creating a long line from the outer edge of your right foot all the way into your fingertips exhale both hands on the inside of your left foot lower your right knee on the floor walk your right knee as far back as you can tuck your tailbone under lift your knee off the floor step in plank chaturanga upward facing dog lifting the kneecaps up back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog shoulders away from the ears widening the back look under one shoulder and over the other side and let's bend the knees and jump to the front of the mat chair pose and again prepare for 50 more side lunge jumps I'm going to put in the description below different options if you have to substitute for the side lunge jumps here you can do bridge pose alternating you can do 25 on each leg of bridge poses or 50 with both legs together if you can do the 50 side lunge jumps do that you are going to feel them tomorrow i may even call, call the class a booty lift uh, because you're gonna feel it in your gluteus maximus and gluteus medius in the upper part of your glutes as well as the main part of your glutes as well as your hamstrings the back of your legs this is going to strengthen your lower back as I mentioned already just make sure you are spot on with your form at all times and chair pose coming out of chair reach over your head back extension flat back exhale your hands all the way to the floor inhale look ahead of you hands on the shin bones hands on the floor jump back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog roll the shoulders back and down chaturanga exhale downward facing dog and let's bring the knees on the floor come up onto your knees hands on the lower back fingers pointing up and begin 
to press your hips forward, camel pose, lifting through the heart. The focus here is a lift through the heart up rather than trying to bring your head back. Try to lift and open. Lifting the lower back away from the fingertips. And to come out of this, you can open the knees wide and go into a child's pose. Modification, hands in front of you. Breathe into your back. Great, walk your hands back in towards you, coming onto all fours. And we're gonna take the left leg up, reach back, grab your ankle with your right hand. Another, keep your hips level if you wanna keep it easier, or you can open the hip and try to find balance. And let's go over to the other side. You can work with either variation either keeping the hips level or opening the hip almost to stack the hips on top of each other. It's pretty challenging. It challenges your balance. You can explore either one. And let's release the knees back down on the floor. Cat cow pose. We're going to inhale, open the chest, exhale, look towards the belly button. Inhale, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, rounding the back, drawing the navel in. Inhale, opening the space between the collarbones. Exhale, rounding as if we're trying to touch the ceiling with our back. And let's tuck the toes under and press all the way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Sink deeper into your warrior. The arms, the fingertips are reaching away from each other. Walk the left hand down the left leg. Open the right hand up and over the head. And let's straighten both legs. Really reach through your fingertips here. Slowly coming out of this, windmill your hands all the way on the inside of your right foot. Lower the left knee on the floor. And either stay on your forearms or on your hands, stretching the hip flexor here. Stretching the quadriceps, stretching the hip and the hamstrings on the right side. And let's come back up onto the hands. Step into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step the left foot between your hands and come up warrior two. Aligning the left knee with your toes. And let's glide the right hand down the right leg. Bring your left arm up and over your head, reversing the warrior. And let's straighten the legs and reach further up and back. Keeping both legs straight and lengthening both sides of the torso here. Inhale, coming out of this, windmill the hands all the way down. Square your hips and lower down onto your forearms. This is a great runner stretch. And let's come back up onto the hands, stepping all the way back into plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog, spread the fingers wide open. And let's walk the feet halfway to the center of the mat, bring your hands in front of your toes, and we're going to prepare for 50 more side lunge jumps. Keep your back straight at all times, slightly tapping the floor. If you can't keep your back straight, you don't have to touch the floor. Keep your knees back, hips back, belly in, chest open. As you hop up, try to bring that jump from the entire foot 
and from your glutes. Try to place equal amount of weight on the inner and outer edges of your feet as you hop up. If you get tired, you can slow down but definitely keep your form. Great. And let's come into chair pose. Inhale, lift and reach over your head, mountain. Exhale, forward bend. And let's step into downward facing dog. Lifting the tailbone as high as we can, inhale, right leg up, exhale, right foot between the hands, inhale, come up, warrior two, reach way ahead of you, side angle, hand on the inside of the foot or elbow over the knee, reach up and over your head and really try to spin the palm of your hand down, paying attention to your pinky to protect the shoulder and to align the shoulder properly. Keep opening the entire left side of the body, spinning it open towards the ceiling. The rib cage is opening, the hip is opening. Hands on the floor, bend your right knee and straighten your left leg here. Either stay here or you can clasp your hands behind you, open the chest, look up over your left shoulder. and release. Let's bring the hands in the center of the mat, straighten your legs, forward bend and prepare for 50 more side lunge jumps. I'm gonna give all the alternative movements you can do during those jumps. You could do one-legged deadlifts Elevated bridge pose, one-legged bridge pose. Squat jumps, squats. If you can, stay with the side lunge jumps. Do that and it will pay off. We're shooting for 300 reps of those side lunge jumps. So we have quite a few more. We're gonna face the back of the room. Bring your hands on the inside of your left foot and come up warrior two, left leg leading. Reach way ahead of you, lower your left hand on the inside of the left foot, side angle reaching over the head with the right hand, spinning the palm down. Feel that action all the way into your rib cage, hips, outer thigh, all the way into the outer edge of your right foot. And let's bring both hands down on the floor, straightening the right leg bend the left knee and either stay here or clasp behind keep the chest open relax the shoulders release and let's straighten the legs hands in the center of the mat prepare for 50 more of our side lunge jumps our mission for today keep the belly in the shoulders relaxed. Make sure your hips are as far back as you can push them.
paying attention to the foot alignment here. As you can tell, I'm slowing down, but I'm making sure that my alignment is perfect. Great, and let's straighten the legs, open the feet slightly out, and we're gonna come into a yogic squat. Hands in prayer, you can use your elbows to open the knees, back, relax the shoulders. Step into the outer and inner edges of your feet, and feel free to stay here or you can take a break and go back into it. I'm demonstrating a different way to go into the squat, first forward bend and then we're gonna come into the yogic squat. Breathe into your hips, breathe into your lower back. This is a great female reproductive system toner. Pose. Let's straighten the legs, hands on the hips, flat back, come up. And we're going to stand on the left foot and bring the right knee into the chest, drawing a few circles with the toes here. You can spread your toes open, extend the tailbone down, ground, find balance standing on your left foot. And either hold your knee and open it to the side or grab your big toe. Straighten the leg and open the leg out to the side. Look away from your foot. Look over to your left. Slowly coming forward, bending the left knee, bringing the right ankle over the left knee. Prepare for flying pigeon or feel free. To stay here this is just further gonna open your hips if you wish to do the arm balance flexing the right foot coming out of this you can sit for a second in this squat breathe into your hip straighten the leg changing sides left knee into the rib cage drawing circles with the toes either holding the knee or working with straightening the leg looking away from the foot level the hips and let's bring the leg forward bringing the left ankle over the right knee sit back Pressing the hips back, hands in prayer, stay here or you can work on flying pigeon on this side. Make sure to bring the shin bone as high onto your triceps as you possibly can and straighten the leg behind you if you can. Reversing the movement, coming back into this modified chair breathe into your left hip keep the left foot flexing straighten the leg and come up to standing little sophie time <laughs> great let's prepare for 50 more of the sideline jumps You can experiment with how high you are jumping here. 
you can just slightly switch your feet here or you can give it a little higher bigger hop we're almost there so try to breathe try to focus on your form keep the back straight and stay strong you're definitely gonna feel this in your gluteus medius and gluteus maximus tomorrow so we are working on the muscles that will actually give that lifted booty look great and coming into chair once we're done squat all the way down grab your big toes and slowly transition into another balance this time we're balancing sit in a seated pose open the legs out if you can hold your toes great release double pigeon we're gonna bring the right leg down on the floor stacking the calves the shin bones on top of each other make sure to keep both of your feet flexing the knees are exactly the left knee is exactly over the right ankle and the left ankle is exactly over the right knee here this was the first time Sophie was this lovable during a yoga practice we had a special day you can either stay sit in this pose or you can walk your hands in front of you and go into a forward bend really try to focus on your breath here slowing it down deepening the breath slowing down the exhalations softening the breath relaxing your body softening your hips learning how to let go of tension Oh, she's so funny. You can bring your hands over your thighs and spin the flesh over the bone out and down. Coming out of double pigeon on one side and prepare for the opposite side. You can shake your legs out and switch sides. So this time we're going to have the left leg down and the right leg on top of the left. Flexing both feet again. Very important. If you put your hand in front of your legs, you, you, your shin bones should be exactly on top of each other. Uh, if your top knee is lifted it's not releasing down don't worry about it stay there as long as you feel a stretch in the hips and no pain in any of your joints you're doing it right make sure your alignment is there
and a forward bend is of course optional try to listen to your body here coming out of this you can shake your legs and let's cross the feet and bring the legs behind us sitting down the knees are bent heels by the hips prepare for reclining hero you can sit here if your quadriceps are pretty tight keep them hip width apart or even closer you can sit here if you feel comfortable leaning back onto your elbows you can stay there and if you feel comfortable coming all the way down onto your back feel free to do that make sure to tuck your tailbone under and you're really gonna feel this in your hip flexors you will isolate that stretch where it's supposed to be to come out of this you can grab your heels and press into your heels lift yourself up back onto your elbows and all the way back up that's a safe way to come out of this pose and let's cross the feet bring the legs in front of us soles of the feet together butterfly pose pressing the knees down breathe into your inner thighs into your hips And slowly recline back down onto your back. Allowing the shoulders to relax down. Let's bring the hands on the outer side of the legs, bring the knees together, prepare for happy baby, grabbing the outer edges of the feet here, flex your feet, press your knees down by your rib cage, rocking side to side, massaging your back. Feel free to stay a little longer in happy baby and when you're done, please join me in reclining. Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose, allow your shoulders to drop down on the floor and feel free to stay here instead of in Shavasana, allowing yourself to soften and stretch and open into this pose. Namaste.